Today we're out here in this incredible marsh in northern Indiana and we are going to be doing some exciting fishing. We're going to be trying out the clickbait. Brand new baits by the Guggen Squad. Really excited about this bait. I've been watching the Guggen Squad for quite a while now. They're in collaborations with Ketchco and they decided to make their own version of a chatterbait. So that's what we're going to be trying today. Stay tuned and let's do it. So this bait is actually quite unique because if you look up close towards the neck of the bait, it's probably very hard to see right now. They have got some kind of unique design up front that is supposed to make the clickbait dive a little bit deeper than your traditional chatterbait. And the nice thing is about this wire is it's very bendable and flexible wire. So if you want to go deeper, you can bend it farther. If you want to go shallower, you can bend it less and make it more of a straight neck. So we're going to try it out today and see if we can catch some bass on it. This place is loaded down with bass. Unfortunately, we're still very, very early in the spring. So I'm not sure how the fishing is going to be. We're shooting for largemouth. And then on the back of a uh, clickbait or a chatterbait, I would typically throw some kind of swim bait. But today I'm going to be throwing on a small fluke. I think the bites are going to be very few and far between and not as aggressive as I'd like. So I'm going to put on a smaller, you know, trailer for the back of it rather than a big swim bait where they might grab the back of the paddle tail or something like that. This way, I think if they're going to take that bait, they're going to take that bait. So let's get in the water and see, uh, see if we can catch some fish on the, the Guggen Squad clickbait vibrating jig. Really excited about this. Got it in white color today. If you look around, there is tons and tons of moss and weeds in here. However, the water is really, really clean. So that's why I'm throwing a white today. Also, that's the only one I have, but I think white will be the key to catching some bass today. So let's get in there and see if we can catch some fish. All righty, the Guggen Squad vibrating jig. Here we go. Never used this lure before, brand new. Never used really hardly any Guggen products other than their soft plastics. So we're gonna see if this works. It's awfully loud just from that. And today I am throwing on a seven foot medium heavy rod, uh, casting setup, and I think that's probably gonna be perfect. I have 30 pound Power Pro on here, which may or may not be enough, I don't know. I prefer a little bit lighter line, just cast better, cast farther. Everything about it's better, except it's not as good if you're fishing really, really thick like cattails or lily pads all right i'm gonna go up here towards the front of this sandbar area this is a shallow spot in the lake where a lot of fish come up to spawn and it's still a little early right now so i'm gonna try to fish the edges of it where maybe these fish are hanging out to try to find some bait or where maybe they are getting ready to get pushed up and start spawning all right here we go first cast with the clickbait wow that uh, is not diving as deep as I thought it would. It could be because I'm in the kayak right now, and so it's kind of hard to get the bait down. I'm gonna hold my rod tip a little bit lower, and I'm gonna try to work it a little bit slower as well. I love how much it's vibrating though. I think that's incredible. I could be wrong, but I really believe that this bait vibrates more than your typical chatter bait. I've caught a lot of fish off the front of this sandbar here, so. I'll if I don't get a bite, we'll keep working around, but I think I should be able to find something in this area. I'm just not sure if the bait's going to dive deep enough and the fish are going to be interested in it. The very mild winds we're having today are perfect for any type of moving bait. That's really why I wanted to try this bait out today. Uh, just a few mile an hour. It's a, coming up on 10 mile an hour winds today. Temperatures are in the 60s. Going to drop down probably into the 40s tonight but it was 65 when I got here and it's probably really low 60s right now. There's a fish. Kind of hit it on top. There we go, first one on the clickbait. Please stay on. There we go, first one on the clickbait. That is pretty cool. And that was a very, very aggressive strike. You know, one thing I'm a little disappointed in is the depth of this. I thought uh, from what I've seen online and the way I've seen it advertised is that you can bend the blade a little bit to see which way you want it to go, down or up. First fish on the clickbait. First fish on the clickbait, gonna throw him back now. 
So one thing I thought was that you might be able to push this down a little more, but it runs into the, the head of the jig. So you can definitely push it down more. I'm, a, I'm not sure which way it goes deeper or shallower, but you can't push it down anymore to try and get that. Because I would think if it's more of an angle, it's going to dive deeper. But I could be completely wrong. I don't know. But one fish down on the clickbait, we're going to keep trying. I think conditions are going to be tough for it. So if I get any more than one fish, that's going to be a blessing. Nothing wrong with this so far other than the fact that I just can't tell which way it's supposed to go up or down. But that's probably my own bad. I'm just really excited to be able to come out here and try some new lures out get a feel for them and then by the time the spawn hits and you know fishing's really really good I'll have a good feel of what lures I want to throw and uh, hopefully be able to crank on some monsters the small ones are biting today but uh, you never know we might be able to get into some big ones coming up soon in the next couple weeks I just love throwing anything that's heavy vibrations and makes a lot of ruckus in the water because I think that's what these fish love in here Occasionally I'll fish with some Senkos or something in the summer when fishing's just really terrible, but for the most part they want a lot of aggressive movements. I've slowed my speed down just a little bit to try to get that bait to dive just a little bit more, and it seems to be working some. I think I was just burning it in a little too fast. Definitely bending the wire will help, I just got to figure out which direction I need to bend. Oh, I just lost one, daggummit. That was a nice one too. I definitely caught some weeds after it, but felt like a good fish there. Chatterbaits are definitely one of my favorite lures to throw because they don't catch as many weeds as something that's got treble hooks. And they still have that extremely aggressive vibrations in the water that can really attract the fish. So I've decided I'm going to move on from that little sandbar area there and I'm going to go into some of these back coasts and try to see uh, how far this bait will go in the water, you know, given the fact that there's quite a few weeds back there and maybe some of these bass are in these coves a little bit. There's two coves that hold a lot of bass in the summer when they're really pushed up shallow. But I'm going to work my way over there with this chatterbait and see what happens. It's a little more weedless than a typical crankbait, so I think it might do well and might surprise me. I did end up passing a few people as I was coming in today and uh, I usually talk to them and see how the fishing was and they did not have anything good to say so I'm feeling really good about having one fish because the people I talked to did not have anything. Spot number two, not really any success there. We're going to keep trying a few other spots. I'd like to try to get one more fish on this lure and I think we can do it. Just got to find a spot of water. That's not too weeded up, that's got some fish in it. I think they also make these baits with a couple different weights. I really believe if I had a heavier weight, it would be a game changer as well. Fishing from a kayak is tough as it is. It's hard to keep some lighter lures in the water, but when you're in the boat, you can keep your rod tip down a little bit better than you can now, so it'd be a lot easier. There's a fish. Haha, -ha, second one on the clickbait. Yes, sir. So I guess it paid off coming a little bit deeper into the lake here. Fish number two, really, really slow bite. So like I was saying, it's not the bait. It's just the fact that we got to get a little bit warmer weather. This fish is a block of ice right now. Fish number two, the clickbait is working pretty good. It just took a few seconds to get the hang of it. I'm starting to like it a little bit more. I think in the summer, I'm going to like the fact that it's a little shallower. It's not going to be that topwater frog action, but it's going to be right below it, a little bit below a buzz bait, and it's really going to agitate these fish. Fish number two, let's go. Two fish was definitely my goal to, for today with this little chatter bait. I'm excited to keep going, though. I've still got a little bit of sunlight left. We're going to keep trying this thing for now. You may wonder uh, what's so different about this versus other chatter baits, but I can tell you from using it firsthand that it is very much different. And there's another fish. Holy smokes. It's definitely different. I think I found a better pod of fish here. There we go. I tell you what, kayak fishing can be difficult at times. It really can be. Um, it's just not the same as flipping them onto a bass boat. When you're sitting this low in the water, 
it makes everything just a little more tough. That guy's got an obnoxiously weird hump. His lateral line is more of Mount Everest on his side. Funky looking. Fish number three, I believe. Pretty exciting. We're going to go ahead and throw him back now. We have exceeded expectations. I think I just needed to go somewhere else and try some other tactics rather than out on the sandbar with this. Sandbar works really good for crankbaits, but with the uh, vibrating jig, it's better to try something different. A little bit less deep. So let's keep going. This bait really moves some water. I know it's a little bit at the surface, but you can tell that it is just moving a ton of water and leaving a big old wake behind it. The more I fish it, the more my attitude changes from it's okay to, I really like it. I haven't used this lure enough to know if it's gonna make a huge difference or not, but I have noticed that a lot of the Guggen Squad lures are hand-tied skirts. And I think over time, that's probably going to be a good thing because the bait's gonna last longer. I don't know how it's gonna to react to, you know, getting 20 or 30 bites because that line might not be as flexible as like the rubber band that was holding the skirt on before where it can kind of stretch and move. Obviously the hand tide's not gonna dry out like the rubber band thing would, but just overall preference and how quickly you're gonna use it and wear out the bait, it'll be interesting to see over time. Ah, oh, I just pulled one out of its mouth right there. You may or may not have been able to see the ripple, I'm not sure. That's the first bite I've had all the way over here. Can't get much slower than the way it is right now. I am really slow rolling this bait. So if that fish can't get a hold of it, then I don't know what else to do. I guess I could speed it up to try to trick it into biting faster. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one to make. You know, it was a little frustrating at first to try to figure out this little clickbait, but you know, after using it and trying it and catching a few fish on it, I like it. I think it's a good bait. I'm not sure if it's the best bait to throw right now, but come, you know, spawning time and those fish are a little more aggressive and they're starting to hit top water. I think this bait is gonna do some serious damage in the water. Also, I'm not sure if it's the best kayak bait. But, you know, overall, I'm going to give that bait, you know, a pretty high score. I like it. I do like it. I just need some more practice with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the little product review. The paint's great. The blade's great. Um, the skirt is in excellent condition. I mean, it's full of weeds right now, but it's still very good. It uh, swims really nice in the water. And like I said before, I like using the fluke as the trailer rather than a swim bait when the days, like today, are a little bit slower and the bite's not really there. So... I gotta say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little product review. Let me know down below if you guys have used this lure, tried this lure, and your thoughts. I wanna know, maybe I'm doing something wrong with it or maybe I should try uh, another trailer. So let me know everything you guys have to say about it. And uh, I'm excited to try it again. We'll be back out here uh, probably in the next week or two to try see if these fish are picking up a little bit. It's still really, really slow right now. Early April to the uh, end of April, fishing's really, really going to pick up, so we'll be back out here. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace, y'all.